Street on here. Nice and shiny, nice and new. From a 122. Okay. Yeah. I think there's only one thing that everybody wants to know. What's the numbers? That guy right there, especially. To be easy on my bike and I break it oh, no, in, I crazy. I'm stay at a solid RPM. Go over 110 right now. You gotta break it in properly. Guess what? He Go. tells me to break it in, and look what he does. Guess what we don't have right now? A fan. A belt on our fan. <laughs> Mike came out to say goodbye. God damn it, Jerry. Oh, you were course. trying to sneak up? You would have had me, man. What were you trying to do to him? I didn't know you were trying to God sneak up it. on him. You're like a fire alarm in the middle of the night. <laughs> You're like a parrot without the f***ing blanket on top. <laughs> Jesus. I feel you're right. Hey, bro. I didn't know you were sneaking up on it. I thought you came out to say goodbye. Sounds good. Have fun. See you later. Now let's talk about it. First official ride on my 122 Lowrider S. Woof, I gotta tell you man, the bike sounds amazing. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh god we're gonna have a problem here we're gonna have a problem here <laughs> oh man yo the amount of power that's in this throttle right now oh uh, and this bike is really 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 tamed at the moment with the rev limiter and Obviously, we got to break it in a certain way. Oh my god. Once we uh, reach the 500 miles, we're going to bring it back, do an oil change on it. And once we reach the 1,000 mile mark, 
they'll take the rev limiter off and the bike is going to be able to be written obviously a bit more aggressive and open her up a bit more they did put it on the dyno we got some pretty decent good numbers on there but once again because of all the restrictions we can't really push it as much yet so i'll be sharing those numbers towards the end of the video because come on watch the numbers and then um once the bike is fully broken in then we'll we'll, we'll do a full video just on the dyno with the official numbers on the bike but wow man what a difference i mean i bet you guys all want to know right now is that a huge difference going from the 114 to a 122 yes yes <laughs> yes it is there's a huge difference man the bike feels oh god it just oh my god i'm at loss for words oh. screaming eagle stage three 122 on my 2020 low rider s the bike's basically brand new it has a brand new heart will you hear that oh my god wow and let me tell you something all that crazy um stock valve train noise it's gone too we did a lot of work on top as well so as you guys know if you've been following the build we ended up switching the uh the rocker arms to the uh, sns rocker arms we also put some shims up in there and obviously brand new springs uh we got the beehive springs from fueling and all that crazy noise even if your bike is stock you know there's a bunch of valve train noise coming from these bikes these these milwaukee 8s sound noisy that that's just that's how they are but this one's really quiet really 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 quiet and obviously the crazy tapping is is gone because of the main issues that i had on the bike before that's all gone uh, i'm happy man i am happy Now breaking this motor right now is like basically breaking in any other new bike. You don't want to do too many miles on just one amount of speed. You don't want to take this bike on a long trip over the weekend to break it in. Um, you want to do a lot of mixing, right? You want to do a lot of in town, get on the highway, get off and just different speeds. Break it in really good. And one main thing that Mike told me was like, listen, if you're going to break in that bike, break it in the way you're gonna ride it if you're gonna ride it hard break it in hard but don't break it in really soft if that's not the way you ride and you don't really ride that way yeah. yep <laughs> she gets up there so quick definitely for the rev limiter man it just kind of bogs you off right away she feels great man she feels great Ah, oh, I'm happy. I'm 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 more than happy. I'm excited. <laughs> she sounds so good, man. Six gear right now at 70, and if you just want to give a little power, it's there. It's there. It's a huge difference, man. Now I know damn well that I'm going to get asked what cam is on the bike. So if you have not been following the build, I have a 475 cam in here. This is a Screaming Eagle Stage 3 kit. Um, rocker arms from SNS. Fuel and Beehive Springs. I have a TBR exhaust on there, which in the long run, I want to change out the exhaust. Um, this exhaust is uh, a bit too short and you lose a bit of horsepower with it. Sounds great, but I don't know. I kind of want to change a few different things on the bike anyway. So that might be one of the things that I go for. So I kind of have a, 
I have two pipes in mind of what I want to put on it. But if you guys want to leave your ideas down below, then go ahead. But what I want to do is either A, put an HPI on it or a Fab 28. Those pipes sound really good and they are... Uh, that they, they give you a good amount of horsepower as well um so that's that um yeah man i mean <laughs> the bike sounds great <laughs> yo that wheel just wants to spin <laughs> that rear wheel just wants to spin man yeah Michael telling me that listen we might have to change out your clutch springs if anything um, just in case if I if I feel the clutch slip or anything um, we'll bring it back and uh, we'll get that installed that's an easy little install so we'll see did no work to the clutch whatsoever right now everything on that end is stock but we'll see how, how the bike acts and reacts to uh, uh, everything. The tuning was done very, very good as well. Uh, prior to me doing all this work, when I just had the 475 cam, the bike bogged out a lot at those low RPMs. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not fun riding the low RPMs with that type of cam. Yeah, before it used to just be like boggling back and forth like crazy, but now it just, it feels great. Pull up over here and uh, give you guys a nice little walk around of the bike Beautiful man, just beautiful. Got that 122 badge on there as well. Bike sounds great, feels great. Do I recommend anyone upgrading to do a stage three? Yes, 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 yes. Bike feels great, man. A little dirty right now. We gotta get her back home, get her nice and cleaned up pristine looking the way she's supposed to be but wow what a machine that's healthy that is healthy anyways guys that's gonna be it i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace Oh, you were trying to sneak up? You would have had me, man. What were you trying to do to him? I didn't know you were trying to sneak God, up on you. You're like a fucking car alarm <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> you're like a parrot without the fucking blanket on top. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Enjoy your ride. Hey, bro. Wow! <laughs> Whoa!